Hi everyone, my name is Andy Klein and I have another invention to share with you today that I think is really cool. It's a solution for panel glue ups. Now parallel clamps like these are not great at gluing up panels even though they're highly versatile and really useful. The problem is that although they exert pressure very well in this vertical direction, even once you put clamps on the top and the bottom to try to reduce bowing in the panel. There's still nothing putting horizontal pressure on the panel. So there's no guarantee that these seams are going to line up correctly, and in fact they probably won't. So people use calls, which is a piece of wood above and below that are clamped together to provide that horizontal clamping pressure um, and, and bring this all together. So here's a video of me doing that exact thing uh, when I was making the Smashboard blades. That makes for a really cumbersome glue up. You have to have specialty calls. There are also specialty clamps that provide the vertical and horizontal pressure at the same time called four-way clamps. Uh, and those work well, I assume. I've never tried one. They look like they work well, but the good ones are expensive and it's a specialty clamp that's really only good for one thing. Uh, and just very hard to justify for a woodworker, a hobbyist woodworker who, who glues up panels once in a while. It's just really not a feasible thing to do. So I thought, wouldn't it be cool if it was possible to modify a parallel clamp to let it retain all of its functionality uh, but also have it be an excellent solution for four-way clamping and gluing up panels without any calls uh, and making sure that the seams come together perfectly. And I think I did it. So this idea kind of came together in stages. And in this first iteration of a clamp design that does what I wanted to, I split the tail section into two pieces. This allows the clamping end of an identical second clamp to fit into the tail section of the first clamp when it's rotated 180 degrees. The two bars of the clamps are now directly on top of each other, which opens the door to the bars functioning as calls as well. But there's nothing to clamp the bars together, and in fact, the two clamps could slide apart. So to take it a step further, I add a bearing on the clamping section that rides on a slanted surface on the tail section of the paired clamp. Now as the clamps are tightened, the two bars are drawn together and can act as calls. So I whipped up some prototypes. And many thanks to Charlie Kasorek of Jack Bench fame for collaborating with me on the concept development and prototype build. Now you can check out Charlie's awesome workbench here. And Charlie also made a video about these clamps, and you can take a look at that right here. So here are the four prototypes I needed for to demonstrate a glue up. The first step is to set the bearing height for the thickness of the material that will be clamped. Now I apply glue to the panel glue up, and notice that I have a misalignment that needs to be dealt with by the four-way clamping pressure. The upper clamps are added and I use some spacers to focus the vertical clamping pressure at the seams where it is needed. Now it's important to note that I'm glossing over a bit of complexity here with these spacers. And if you want to get into the weeds on this issue and the solution, click here. Otherwise, back to the clamp demonstration. Now I tighten down the clamps, which not only puts horizontal pressure on the panel seams, but presses the bars together because of the bearings riding on the clamp tails. A uh, close-up of the previously misaligned seam shows that it is now a perfect joint. Uh, and so to drive the point home, if I take the clamping pressure off before the glue dries, you can see the boards pop back apart. Those clamps were the only thing making that seam align perfectly. Well, I hope you enjoyed that demonstration. Uh, let me know what you think in the comments. I am going to be looking for another partner to develop this and bring it to market. Thanks, everyone. More to come soon.